Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! It's uh, been remarkable to see how much it's resonated. We know that tens of millions of people have viewed the clip uh, in the places that we have posted it. There has been uh, apparently a, a surge in hate crimes uh, in the United States uh, throughout the campaign and particularly since uh, Mr. Trump's election. We're making the documentary because we think that it is an interesting set of questions to be asking at this moment. Uh, we publish a variety of viewpoints from, from a wide array of authors. Uh, and we will continue to closely examine the decisions made by this president and to follow and track the evolution of its policies and its rhetoric. America was, until this past generation, a white country. To be white is to be a striver, a crusader, an explorer, and a conqueror. It will include uh, extensive interviews with um, Mr. Spencer, with, with others, with critics. I think that some of the footage will prove equally shocking that people uh, who have been alarmed by uh, this short clip of Richard Spencer um, may be even more disturbed. These folks are, are white nationalists and, and believe that the party that purports to represent their interests has actually betrayed it. Uh, they're an alternative to the right. Uh, that's been the primary target of their ire. Uh, what shifted with the election of Donald Trump is that they don't feel that way anymore. They no longer feel frozen out. They don't feel as if that party is moving in the wrong direction. They actually feel that it's getting closer to their concerns. Um, Spencer is something of a barometer. He's feeling very good at the moment about uh, the prospects for the policies that he favors. Uh, and that suggests to us that, that others around the country uh, who uh, have similar ideas uh, may also be feeling empowered and emboldened to take action. I think that's probably the wrong analogy to draw. We're talking about a, a couple hundred people in a conference room, uh, not a, a broad-based fascist movement with uh, paramilitary of its own, uh, that, that one doesn't have to imagine uh, the United States turning into Nazi Germany uh, to be quite concerned about the erosion of democratic norms and the threats to civil liberties. Uh, to the extent that he merits attention, though, it's because uh, of two things. One is that Donald Trump has selected as senior counselor uh, a man who ran a, a website called Breitbart News. Uh, and Steve Bannon, the, the individual in question, uh, once described that site as the platform of the alt-right. Spencer is uh, the man who coined and popularized the term alt-right. Uh, and so to see Spencer speak in these terms and to know that Bannon was quite proud of uh, Breitbart's role in, in popularizing the alt-right is, is disturbing to many observers.